Hey y'all, welcome back. Number 45, we, looks like we got a word problem. Love these word problems. <laughs> uh, the population of a small town is modeled by an exponential function in this form. Okay, so we're going to be writing an equation in this form. In fact, before we go any, any further, I'm going to type that out because we may need to uh, fill in some values there. Uh, where T represents the number of years since 2010, scroll back down, the population of the town was recorded as 425 in 2010 and 612 in 2012. Based on the data for the years, what is the value of B in this model? Okay, so basically it's saying the initial, the A is going to be our initial value, and since it's years since 2010, we can put 425 in there. Um, now, 2012, that's two years since um, 2010, right? So I'm going to put two in here for T, because T represents the number of years since 2010. And it says the population in that year was 612. So the population, when T is two, is going to be 612. So here's our little equation. We're going to solve this equation. We'll start it off by dividing both sides by 425. I'm just going to draw some fraction bars here, and we're going to divide both sides by 425, and we're doing that to try to isolate B. That is the question. That, that is what we're tr actually trying to get here. So we've got whatever that is, 612 and over 125, I'm going to, or 425 equals B squared. I'm going to see if that works out. I'm going to divide that out. If, it, if it's not... Let's see, 612 divided by 425. Okay, so it's 1.44. So I'm going to replace this with 1.44. And now I need to take the square root of both sides. Now, algebraically, when you take the square root of both sides like this, you should get plus or minus. But with an exponential function, the base has to be positive. So we're going to disregard the negative solution. And so B is going to be the square root of 1.44. Where's my square root symbol? There we go, 1.44. Now, if you don't know what that is off the top of your head, no worries. Again, go back to the calculator. Any arithmetic that you're just like, have any hesitation on whatsoever, it's worth a couple button presses in the calculator to make sure you get that right. You do have access to a scientific calculator on the CLEP test, so use it. You know, take advantage of your resources. We get B equals 1.2, and that is going to be our answer here. So that's it for number 45. Hope you all enjoyed the video. Uh, thanks for watching, and you all have a great day.